What's the biggest lie you ever told an ex? Yeah. Uh -huh. An ex. An ex. Hey. Not your ex, will, an ex. I will renovate your house for you. <laughs> what? That's what you said? Really? Uh, and you ran away after? Yeah. That's Why did you do that? Talk? Because she broke my heart. Oh, but had you renovated your house? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, in my dreams, you it's had, been done. And you were promising mm. someone. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm telling lies, so I beg you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember ever telling a lie mm. to an ex. Uh, really? I don't remember. That's what really, I really. don't remember. Madam. I okay, don't remember. Let's activate the lie detector. Come hey, on. wow. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Well, send in your comments. We would really like to know. I yeah. don't remember um, anything like that. Maybe I was one place and I said I was at another place or something. I, just, I don't Th remember. That's basically. Mm. Yes, yeah, ex exactly. Like so the question is, which other place were you when you said Church. you were at? No. <laughs> no. Hallelujah, you, somebody. You know, you know how there are, <laughs> there are two people mm. and, and you're here mm. and you text this person, I can't sleep, and then you text this person, Experience. I'm feeling so sleepy. Today, <laughs> Johnny is confessing, <laughs> you know. No, I saw it on social media. Hey! Yeah, <laughs> and lots of people are sending in their messages. Send yours as well. Let's read it and have some fun on the show. So this is from, well, didn't mention his or her name. It says, I, oh, his name. I told her I still love her and I've never met anyone like her since we went our separate ways. I wanted her to feel good, but truly, uh, thoughts of her and I together never crossed my mind. Oh boy, that's very evil of you. You should have just let her go. Now this one says, I told her that I'm going to visit my mom, but I went to see her friend. Oh, wise from Tamale. Okay. I'm Dede from Kaswa Lamte Mills. The biggest lie I remember telling my ex was when he was sick and wanted to see me that fateful evening. I remember telling him I was going for an all night service just to pray for him to recover. Meanwhile, I was home sleeping. That wasn't too bad, it's fine. As long as you were home, it's fine. My best lie I told my ex was that I love her just for her distance. Oh, you didn't try. But the fact was that there was a bet within my friends or amongst my friends and I and I back in this in secondary school as to who will win a heart and be able to get access. Well, I got it at the end, but still feel guilty for that because after my friends saw that I'm the champion, I left her. I'm sorry, Rita, but thank God she's now a married woman. Well, yes, uh, at least now you've, you've recognized your wrong. Zina, yeah, well, it could be any Rita. Are you called? Do you know any Rita? He didn't understand him. Good, yes. Could be causing <laughs> trouble at home this I morning. know, right? <laughs> Zena from Kumasi says, I once lied to my ex that I was pregnant, all to just get money from him, even to the extent of going to the hospital for checkup. Pregnancy is what most men hate. Uh, any amount you ask, they'll give you. <laughs> is it true, Johnny? I don't know. Is that what you guys hate? I I'm not impregnated <laughs> people. The only woman I impregnated and I, I, I felt responsible for it. So that's how come I have Listen, the only woman I impregnated and yes. felt responsible for. Yes. Yeah. No. What? No, so but you said only it yourself. I said the only woman I have impregnated and felt responsible for it is my wife. There's a and clause. That's why, yeah. That's why. Th there is a clause. Yes. I see. Yes. We'll talk about that, Johnny. Yes. I'm Aben from Asham, and the lie I told her was that my family doesn't like her background. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> that, thing, that thing is real. Somebody says, well, my mother doesn't seem to like you, or my family yeah. thinks our tribes are not, are not compatible. compatible and mm -hmm. so and your love so doesn't even stand that is when they're falling out of love true you know and True. and it's it's sad uh well tribalism in ghana is a big thing well mm. but it's a shame that we're trying to live by tribes mm. i like something that professor ac sutherland said she mm. said on the gmb show she said africa by its very nature is not tribal yeah. we are mm. communal, communal. Mm. and so the tribes were imposed on us by the colonialists you think so? And we have accepted the tribe, which is why, look, if you, if you, if you talk about Guans, for example, mm. look at their spread all over Ghana. Yeah. If you yeah. talk about the Akan society, look at their spread all, all over, over Ghana. Even along the coast from the Everest to the folks in Adda to mm -hmm. the, the Gans. All the way down to the Gans. There are a lot of similarities that come. So we're communal people. Okay. We're supposed to live like that. But you know... I don't think it was imposed on us. Yes. I thought it existed before. Yeah, before because if you look at came. those, the, the history, the wars mm. and all of mm. that, wasn't that before mm. the, well, I mean, um, we the see colonial masters the nomenclature, mm -hmm. the nomenclature of tribe, that's what she says was imposed on us. And okay. I, and I tend to agree with her largely because... Once you box people, you put people into a certain circle, then they can't flow with everybody else. Mm. They see themselves as 
you know, whatever. Yeah, exclusive. I, well, exactly, yeah. and and it's, it's sad. I thought so it we should existed. we should start living communally. It's very important. Back mm. in the day, I mean, somebody could call your child and correct. I, I was corrected by a lot more people. People, yeah. 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 But and then they would say, "Well, my call, papa." Yeah, exactly. Mm. You're You'd be scared. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll tell your father. Yeah. You're misbehaving here. You know, you're staying in check. These days, you hey. can't. You can't say. Hey. I was telling yeah. someone, the child will disgrace you right yeah. now. I know, he right? He told my father, my father gave me the iPad to come out. Hey. Please, excuse me. I'll tell, hey. your, I'll tell your daddy, <laughs> whatever. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're asking, what's the biggest <laughs> lie you told your ex? And we're getting more messages. Ogolo Osei from Esteresu says, I told her I'll never fail her, and I did, oh. which is what a lot of people did oh. to us anyway. We'll get you people in the <laughs> long run. <laughs> I'm Jim from Sogakope. My biggest lie to my ex was like, was that I'm very sick and I can't go out. And I went out to the DSTV center to watch a Chelsea match. Oh, no, it's normal. Sinned. It's a normal lie. No, oh, a grave lie. No, it can't <coughs> be a normal lie. Football lie. You guys do this to us all the time. Football lie yes. standard. No, it, it, it shouldn't be. We are not accepting it anymore. <laughs> the biggest lie I've ever told my ex was telling her that my mom liked her. Oh, oh, oh. from Bright, Bright Bad. Yeah, your name bad, even, yeah. Exactly. Your he's name even depicts. Did you have my, to? my biggest lie, well, some of them do that, you know. My biggest like, lie to my ex is I told her that she has no type. Huh? What is that? Oh, yeah, like there's none no like size. Yeah, oh, no oh, size. Oh, yeah. oh. Innocence from Bulga. Okay. Hey. I told her I lost my erection. Yeah. Maybe okay, he went maybe elsewhere, she... so... Oh! Mm. How do you do that? It's an insurance policy. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. I told her I was home, but no, um, not knowing I was in the same bus oh. with her. Aye, Salim Next Aswa. Time. Okay, <laughs> I can imagine area. what happened in the bus. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everton Obri from Essipon, you are not like other girls, and I think about you all day. Oh, so Lies. you don't think about her all oh, day. No. That's really Lies. sad. The biggest lie was to say, I am AS, knowing that she's AS. Oh. oh. You should have been honest with her. You should well, have. So, so now what? They, they... So he couldn't get married to her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Boys be bad. Though. I know. <laughs> I'm Shadrach from Kumasi. The biggest lie I told my ex was that our school is having a program, so I'll join my friends there. But I called her sister and had a night with her. Hey. What? Mm. Hey. How could you do that? In the whole, in the same family? Yeah. Oh. Wow. Shadrach. Oh, no, Shadrach. You know Trey. I'm a two from Tema. She told but me. But why did the sister also go? Knowing that... Uh, her sister Wait, is did she know, know that her that sister question. was dating Shadrach? That's, that's the question. one question we Sorry, let's ask. know. Uh, what was the status of the, mm -hmm. the distance? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Answers. <laughs> Amato from Tema, she told me she's pregnant uh, whilst I was about to start my first semester. Mm. Not knowing she was testing me. She told me that later on. Okay, okay, so that's the biggest lie she It was she a litmus test. Him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> was it blue or green? <laughs> <laughs> Telling him I'll die if he leaves me. Kelly from... Hey. Photo. So I'm guessing Kelly is a woman. Okay. And surprisingly, I'm alive. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I remember telling my ex my sickle cell status was AS. After my ex told me she was also AS. Afagu. Oh, okay. It looks like it's a this common looks, thing. Yeah. yeah. The biggest lie I ever told my but ex. But if was you tell me that, we'll go and check. You want to check? Yeah, we'll go and verify. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But that, that just says that the other person doesn't just want doesn't want to be with you. Exactly. No, we'll verify. Then no, I'll, and if I'll you expose verify you. and you realize that he's not I'll AS. expose you. I'll leave you. It's even more Shame painful. on you. Shame. Ah. <laughs> the biggest lie I ever told my ex was that I told him I was pregnant, thinking I'll get money. I think I've read this already. No, no, no. no that, but this one was Thinking happy. I'll get money. But yeah, he rather... Oh, one, he was rather happy. The <laughs> so that's oh, where you're your not face, lucky. Your face would drop. Oh. I know. So I guess you had the baby afterwards. Or maybe that was a lie. Yeah. I'm Kweku from the Oil City. The biggest lie I ever told my ex was that I never, ever loved her. And hey. every day I cried behind closed doors. This one they do so, yourself. Outside gentility, home yeah, cry. Yeah, home cry. Yeah. I'm a gospel musician. Because of that, I will not mention my name. Okay. Ah. Yes, uh, is okay. it Jometo? Yeah, it could be. The lie I told my ex is no, that Jometo's I'm going... No, Jometo's English is nicer than this one. I know, right? I'm mm -hmm. going to a gospel program, but I was going to meet another woman. Hey. And she knows I go to programs a lot, so she believed me. Uh, I'm sorry for that. God, you are not asking God to forgive me. <laughs> God forgive me. So, so he used God as his alibi. Exactly. Yeah. And now wow. he wants him to forgive you. Mm. Well, I'm sure he's been forgiven. That's Sometimes I wish alive. I was God, you know. <laughs> Good morning, <laughs> Bella. The biggest lie I told my ex is she's the most beautiful girl I've ever met. From <laughs> DJ Junior to our sick. Why would you commit yourself like that? Region. <laughs> if you don't feel it or you but don't think it, it, don't say it. You know around that time when they're in love and they think, they, you know, the relationship is new. They're like, yeah. oh God, you're the best person You're I've ever best. met. But it's at because that point, they want the cookie. 
That's all. And then when you don't get the cookie. Well, when they get it, they start showing your true card. That's when they start telling their AS, their SS, their blah, they are blah, they are blah, they are blah, and all of that. <laughs> I, it's, I mean, well, yeah. people will always be people. They that's would a, always. That's all in, I think I can say. Absence says, I can never live without you. I still have life. And that's the lie I told. <laughs> hey. People, you don't try. <laughs> anyway. Welcome back. It's still TV3 New Day. We're live on TV3. And the big question still stands. What is the biggest lie you've ever told your ex? We've gotten so many messages. Very interesting ones um, at that. Now, this is from Desmond. He said from a coded location. And you can see the emoji there. He's about to tell us another lie. He says, the biggest lie I ever told my ex was I've made another lady pregnant, which prevents me from being with her. How do you do that? Why can't people just go straight ahead and tell the person they don't want to be with us? I'm done. I'm not interested anymore. You don't have to tell such lies. That's heartbreaking. Good morning. My name is Opoku Isaac from Agona Suedro. I really like this program. Thank you so much. Let us know what's the biggest lie you've told your ex. Now, I went to a place that I didn't want her to know about. And I was there when she called and I didn't pick up. Later in the day, I told her I left the phone in a taxi. 24 karat inside Doje, Volta region. I see. Peter the Magnet says, My ex lied to me that she loves me more than even her mom and was pretending to show me a fake love. Well, sh show me fake love. But that was later. Uh, she was later impregnated by a different guy. Um, so lies to some women because they don't want the truth. Oh, so you tell lies to women based on your past experience and you feel like women don't like the truth. We do like the truth. We like it when men are honest with us. If you don't want it, tell us. We'll break down, but after a while, we'll get over it. I'd rather know the truth now than find out later because that would hurt even more, right? Yeah, but sometimes you have to be careful what kind of truth. <laughs> Package of nice, there's always Exactly, you mm -hmm. see? Yeah. Amos, good morning to all TV3 workers. I say happy birthday to the Ghanaian historic icon, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. Uh, hmm, the biggest lie I told my ex was when I said I would stop schooling if she left me. Hey. This is the How first is time that? I'm here. I hear people say I kill myself hey. if you leave, but stop schooling stop there, why? Schooling. Good morning, Bella. The biggest lie I ever told my ex was I have aborted the baby because he wanted me to, whilst I didn't. I gave birth, and now after eight years of marriage, I haven't been able to bear another child. Wow, I'm happy uh, that I told that lie. This is from Mrs. Paige Rodriguez. Well, lucky you, but I'm sure that you'd get a baby much later on another baby. So good morning, Jay. My biggest lies um, to my ex was she... She is my in and out of the world. <laughs> huh? Quick, <laughs> say to Adam, so for you, Chrome Kumasi, she's your in and out of the world. I'm it's everything. Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> Hi, good morning. My name is Issa from Shy Hills. The biggest lie I told my ex was I don't, I told her she's the best amongst the rest, which means that there were still a few, but she was still the best. That's not exactly a lie, you know. Best lie I told my ex was that I'll die a bachelor if she leaves me. Mm. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm married with four kids, Sabo from Wa, and I told my ex she would become, should she ever become pregnant, I will carry it for four months and she'll continue with the rest of the five months. <laughs> from Aziz Tamale. Okay, I'm going to run through these ones and then we'll move on to our next segment. The biggest lie I told my ex was that if he leaves me, I will kill myself. Uh, he rather abandoned me and married a different, wait, married a different man. Tenny. She abandoned him. Oh, you abandoned him. Okay, married a different man. Tenny from Garu. It's understandable. I'm Ken from Keta. I planned to visit her one holiday. When I was in a car going to her house, a few minutes to enter her house, I called her and she said she was going to Togo. But I took it like she was kidding. The moment I entered her room, she was busy ooh, with another guy inside. That was the biggest lie she ever told me. But I can't remember if I ever told her one before. And then a mic from Hohoi says, the biggest lie I told my ex was that I'll pay her fees at the tertiary level, even though I bought the school forms for her. But I wasn't ready to pay her fees. So when her results didn't meet the standard, I was very happy. You are very evil. Monique, I told... Who is Monique? Okay, you are Monique, okay. I told him I was pregnant. He insisted he wanted evidence, and I went to get some fake positive results. He then ran away. Later, when he saw no signs of pregnancy, he came back begging for a comeback. But I stood on this and broke up with him. Hmm. I told her if she marries me, I will not marry... Uh, I told her if she marries me, I will not marry a second wife. But she did, and I still married a second wife. Sunny boss to Kandia. And then the biggest lie I ever told my ex is that I'm a soldier man, which I wasn't from Isaac Nyande Oti region, Karachi, 
in Krumu Banda. Okay, the, the messages are becoming quite a lot. I believe my uh, saxophonist should be on standby. Not yet. Okay. The biggest lie I've ever told my ex was that she told me she was pregnant. And my reply was, it's not possible because the doctor told me that I cannot get pregnant. Interesting lie. Do this. Bella, who you got there? What you got I thought there? you were going to ask them what's the biggest lie they've told their exes. Uh, yes. Yes. Kwame, he you looks do. like someone who could have told a lie. Kwame, what was the biggest lie you ever told your ex? The biggest lie? <coughs> biggest. Mm. The biggest. The fattest. Juiciest. <laughs> God help us. <laughs> God help you or help us? We are guys, we are guys. So yeah, yeah, no, but say, I mean, we're, we're all curious to learn. <laughs> People have been honest with us this morning, and we want you to be honest with us, just so that you're playing the music honestly. For now, I'm being, I'll, I'll send a text. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bafo. Yeah, I'll follow you. Charlie, Bella, you're on your own at this point. Yeah, at this point, take it away. I think we'll have to wait for the text messages from them. But anyways, those messages are still coming in. What's the biggest lie you've told your ex? And it's happening right here on TV3 New Day. If you want to send it via social media, remember to add the hashtag TV3 New Day. Now, my biggest lie is I told my guy I was pregnant. He gave me money to abort it and I used the money for something different. Oh, madame. I told my ex I would never lie to you. <laughs> and you actually did. That's from Joey V. Shama. I'm Bright from Sunyane. The biggest lie I told was that I wanted some amount of money from her. And I told her I had lost my wallet. And guess what? I eventually lost the money she gave to you. Says you right. <laughs> I'm Connie from Bono Region. Says I told my ex that I'm pregnant. And um, after we broke up. And ugh, okay, wait. He stopped going to London. I told my ex I was pregnant. I'm trying to get this. I'm sorry, but can you please send it again? Now, the biggest lie I told my ex was that I, I, uh, she can count the number of pieces when rain drops. Then she would know how much I love her. It's your boy, Abdul Wahid, inside Boku. Okay, so that amount of raindrops will determine how much you've, you feel about her. I see. Now, good morning. The biggest lie I ever told my ex was that I'm a carpenter. And she stopped coming to me. <laughs> Hi, TV3. My name is Nash Abero from Bolga. I uh, sure love your morning show. Thank you so much. If you want the best TV, it's TV3 Worldwide. Thank you so much. I'm Abby from Bequai. I remember saving a guy's name, Ifia. And when my boyfriend asked me, I said it was my knees, but I was caught, though. The pressure was too much. Oh, my God. Wow, Bella, you're looking sweet. Thank you so much. Uh, the biggest lie I ever told my ex is that I work at the gold room at a mining company and she believed it ras harry aton sukumase you should have showed her some money as well so hi tv3 the greatest lie i have ever told someone was to say i was a doctor about some years ago but eventually i became a, pedi a pediatric doctor okay so at least you told a lie in the right direction and by the way thank you to miss laurel boutique for my outfit love it absolutely um so uh, your dose of your okay. <laughs> now that I'm here, I'll do a 180. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> it. Anyways, but we want so, to see the pink part. Why so. are you doing that? We're oh, going to but let's watch a music video when no, I come back. No, 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 we'll no. Oh, look please. at the pink sheet. Crystal, are we together <laughs> on this? Are we together on this? No, she will not side you on this. Uh, a music video. No, from don't do girls power.